Alright guys, welcome back. More DM Dual Commentary. So yeah, I'm Meg Chaos here, eventually. Hi, I'm Meg Chaos here again. It's just logging in. So we got Jake's here at uh, 696, and we got Norbess sucked at 1314. So this person right here, Norbess took. I'm just gonna call him Norbe. Norbe here, he's using uh, cleaves. Oh, Gleeforts, of course. Yep, he's using Cleaves, and it looks, uh, uh, yep, and I was like, Jake is probably using Shadals, because I saw an enemy controller, so. Yeah, more than likely. And they're using the the new support, so, uh, is it set out? Yes, the set is out today. Oh, okay. Then, I want to see this, because, you know, there's been a, a lot of talk about, um, Shadal's getting power creeped, so. Yeah, indeed. Right now, this guy is just locking it down just by simply just mass destruction of, uh... Shadal's are not really power creeped, it's just that they have a really bad matchup against Clifford's and, uh, and Necros. No, the problem is they, they didn't get much, you know? Yeah, that's true as well. You know, while the top deck of Burning Abyss and Cleave, you know, got new cards and got new plays, what should all get? Just well, burning really just burning a piece didn't really get anything too broken. Being able to search for a liar, fire lake? That's not, not broken. But you have to run it and then get it to the graveyard first. Okay. If... One, you have a monster that can send it from the deck to the graveyard. Yeah, that's true. And I know two, that, but... if it's in your hand, it's not like you don't run Phoenix 1 1 Blast, Karma Cut. Shit, they might even run freaking. Uh, Mass change second just to turn into a freaking uh, Dark Law. Uh, some Burning Abyss players are starting to run no traps at all. Okay, I don't know what the fuck they're, they're doing. They, they, didn't, <laughs> they didn't give me some of the, what they're smoking. Like, no. You need Dutch Well, traps. they say that it's, it's an OTK format, so there's no need to run traps because they are slow and all that. No, no, no. You're wrong. No. That's how Burning Abyss... No, it's not what I'm saying, how, but yeah, uh, they are well, saying. Say, Burning Abyss... Not only do they up you in resources through their floaty ass monsters, but they also up you the resources by playing that back row. Eventually, that's, that's a grind game. Eventually, they whittle you down without cards. But now with that whittling down, it just their speeds are increased just because of Fire Lake being searchable now. Yeah. Yep. So the Shadal player, you know, they, you know, summoned Dwinda. This Klee player is running out of resources, you know. I guess the Clifford player didn't uh, open scout or did no, get destroyed. No, no, he, he summoned, uh, he had a assembler or monolith, and then it got MST, and then he put um, another Klee, and then it got dragoned, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if uh, scout gets destroyed, then, then Clifford player pretty much loses, so. He didn't even yeah. have scout, but yeah. you know, all his pension zones were just getting destroyed. Yeah, Cliffords are way too reliant on the Clifford scout, so. Yeah, definitely. But didn't they say that in that in that new set we're getting that one pendulum protector card? I forgot the name of it. They changed the name of it. Yeah, name. yeah, pendulum impenetrable. Yeah. So. Yeah, that thing is really good for pendulum based decks. So. You think they're gonna run it? Hmm. Not sure if the Cliffords are going to run it. I might run it in my normal pendulum deck. Mm. I don't do you justice. I I was terrible. I didn't know the place. <laughs> <Lol. laughs> I I fucked up bad. I was like, oh oh, but yeah, I fuck up with uh with non pendulums. And what does Stanti fuck up with? He fucks up with. Fucks up with one deck that you play, and it was probably gonna piss you off because he messes up. And we're just like, oh god, my kiss is it's gonna kill us. <laughs> All right. Well, I can play almost any deck. But they were like two of your most predominant Except, decks. Except uh, if late. it's uh, very aggressive, then I probably can't can't play that very well. I'm not really an aggressive player either. I'm more of a troll player. That's that's probably why I don't like Shadows right now. One of the reasons. Yeah, I'm more of a stun player, mm. I guess. All right, mathematician, drop you, drop you, draw a card. Yep, the usual play. I want to see this. And God, a freaking uh, monolith or assembler—it's fucking thirty-five dollars. Like, damn. 
Yeah, in dead. You don't really need that many. Oh, I've been playing and testing the card. You really only need one. You know? Yeah, he's one a, or two. Yeah, he's, he's a good card, but he's not like, you know, end all, be all, yes, you know. All day, every day, gotta run it. Oh. But it's definitely really good if you run Killer and that other thing as well. Yeah, yeah. No, just, you know, tribute three for Killer and then other phase, draw three, like, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, there's Scout. Hey, that duel can actually begin. I want to see this. <laughs> Three night beams do Clay's run. Well, two or three. No. I'm gonna get my I personally one. don't really like the card. Night beam? Yep. Mm. Alright. Is it pendulum summoning time? Alright. Yep. Okay. Tribute it. Four disc, most likely. Oh. Oh, one this fan. That's a new. Yeah, I that's new. Stop the, I should stop that. Stop player from uh, spell summoning. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Lol. Why? Why would you do that? Maybe it didn't want to return that white dragon. As if it was gonna do anything. <laughs> You know, now he kills the white dragon, now he gets the black dragon. If he would just bounce it to his yep. hand, he didn't even have any more dark targets to special summon it. Oh yeah, he did. He still had a... Uh... Beast. Eh, whatever. Well, let's draw one card. Alright, so, there's Vanity Fiend. What'd you add? <laughs> he added another scout, didn't he? Yeah, scout out for a second. Yep. Right. I don't like Vanity Fiend and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like any of the mass stopping cards like that. I don't like I don't like widespread stopping. You know, I like individualized stopping. Yeah, same here. Yeah. You know, if we gotta run vanities to stop the pendulums, then why don't you just create a card that just stops just pendulums? It's not fair, you could just be like, oh, stop all special summoning, and then the duel just slows down to a screeching halt. Oh, Snatch Deal, lol. Uh, that's number two, yeah. Raider. <laughs> Snatch Deal is going to probably win the game. Snatch Deal is probably gonna be banned. <laughs> Yeah, uh, hopefully at least. Yeah, they, that, that was, was a really bad mistake by Konami. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then instead of Snatch Deal, they picked like, up Bring so. I should message him. <laughs> yeah, Clifford one is getting screwed over by his, his own, own fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> getting fucked over by his own fucking anything. Just because it's not steel. Like, it's not steel. Konami was not thinking. Keep it forever. Like, slap the shit out of you with your own fucking monster. Like, damn. Like, damn, like, this is, this is, this is proof is in the pudding. Snatch Deal's too powerful. Yep, and, uh, the store player won because of that. <laughs> yeah, totally won because of that. He probably could, he probably should have lost, and we could have at least made the game three, but nope. He had that Snatch Deal. He summoned that, he summoned that, uh, mathematician, dropped the dragon, popped the MST that would have saved him, and then Snatched him up. Really fucking yep. ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know what Konami was thinking. I have absolutely no idea what Konami was thinking when it came to just unbanning Snatch Deal. I said, you know, I'm I'm one of the people who argues for the evidence abstinence, but that was clearly just not true right there. I'm, I'm thinking that Konami was thinking, well, you know, we have MST, so you know, I guess they're thinking like you know how heavy it is to destroy face up spell and trap cards in this format. So I'm assuming that they're like, well, we can Snatch Deal do with all this heavy MST, uh, you know. 
face up spell and trap card destruction, you know, with like vanities and skill drain and scout and, you know, all them good shit. Then I guess Konami is just like, hey, you know, it's not just the won't do anything. Because we have all these cards that destroy it, you know? People running MST and Twister and Fairy Wind, so it'll be fine. It's not. Konami, it's not. <laughs> you have anything else to say? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Alright, uh, we'll get one more quick one in. Alright, there we go. Alright, people, we're back with another duel. So, we got yeah. Jim Man 1995 here with 972. He's like. 19 or 20 years old <laughs> and then we got Afka here with a uh, 1298 he's running Cleese not, not our Clifford twist yay yay more Cleese <laughs> <laughs> is he running new Cleese yeah Cliff sacrifice set that skill drain set that vanities and packs Cliffords <laughs> are so linear it's not even funny oh shit it's the hard <laughs> Well, it's possible that uh, Harpies are going to win this trial because, yeah, that Harpies hunting ground destroy all the back row. Yeah, I want to see this. <laughs> Get him, Jim, <gym> man. <laughs> Bam, there's Dancer. Pop that bitch. Skill drain, gone. Yep, skill drain. Go back to the head. And. Bam! Drop that bitch. Pop that bitch. Bam! Scout gun. Let's set that Icarus attack and blow up some more shit. <laughs> Lots. Yeah, that's very possible as well. Mm-hmm. Nope. Someone is out. Yep. Someone is out. I'm a scout. You have to be scouted. And bam! Icarus attack. Suck a dick. I hope someone else doesn't get hit because of Clifford, so... It probably will. It probably will. You know Konami always goes after the generic support before going after the main deck support. Oh, they changed his name yeah. to Stealth? Yeah. That's not that bad. Like, uh, OCC Konami hit uh, generic ritual support instead of hitting Necros cards. Yep. And uh, Necros are still dominating OCC, so it didn't even help. <laughs> Yep, so, like I said, it seems like Konami goes after the generic sit to make sure that it doesn't happen again in the future, because if it happened again in the future, they could just simply give the decks that they want the individualized support. Yeah, they are always ignoring the actual problem. Wow, you main deck that? Oh. That is not a good choice to main deck. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. As if you're always going to be. I guess going. against Shadows and burning a piece, but. Uh, against uh, Shadows, it doesn't even do anything. No, no, that's, not, that's not a good choice. That card right now is just not that good. Damn. Alright. That, that guy still gets his effect, even though he wasn't on the field to. To for the tribute summon, but wasn't on the field. He tributed his two. He tributed. Wait, what did he do? Tributed uh, two for stealth and then summoned to me phantom summon. Right. So does he still get the draw? Because he searched for monolith from the what he tributed for uh, stealth. Does uh, does monolith have to be on the field at the tribute summon to get the draw? I don't face. think so. Oh, okay. Seems like it, it doesn't say any, say anything at least in the card text about that. It just at this turn, so even comes even before the monolith uh, was I, I, activated. Damn it! I cannot type monolith. Like rules, <laughs> or do you guys not have anything? Yeah, not see anything. All right, whatever. All 
Damn. Okay, what? <laughs> oh. uh, I guess he tried his best and I guess he couldn't do anything. Yeah, possibly. I guess that reckless greed was to see two cards of the future and I guess it wasn't enough. So I please bust out the consistency. Harpies are struggling. <laughs> yep, that's true. You know, uh, all, we re all we saw was Dancer. We didn't see no, you know, Hysteric Sign, no Channeler, no nothing. Just... Yeah, Harpies are not fast enough still. Nope. Oh, too slow and too inconsistent to pull anything off, you know. And you know the things that Channeler could go to in the past, which are which used to be really good, aren't as good anymore. You no. Know? And the Harpy twice is probably not playing the Harpy Harpist as well because it's a DC chair. Yeah. So that doesn't help either. So one of the cards that can help definitely, definitely help us consistency. He's not even going to be running because it's uh this is a TCD duels. That's an OCD card. So yep. That I was just. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Deal No Commentary. Thank you, Omega Chaos, for joining me. No problem. And, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.